Hello YouTube and welcome back into another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're doing a fan requested armor guide today. This is the Talenberg Elite Guard and it was requested by Incognito7274, a longtime viewer of the channel and someone who has requested various armor guides before. If you, like this person, would like to see your own creations come to life on the screen or perhaps see my interpretation of a generic request, feel free to make it in the comment section below. I love making these videos, and it seems like a lot of people really like watching them. So, go ahead and do that if you want. Otherwise, let's just get right to it. So as you can see, we're in Talmberg, and I wanted to start off with just a few examples we have here, uh, where I'm going to get some of my inspiration. So here we've got a higher level guard. You can see this is a, a plate jack, some decent plate, all sorts of stuff. Very good suit of armor, really, uh, for an NPC in the game. Then we've got what we could call probably the much lower end. I mean, there's probably a guard somewhere out there with less armor than this, but, you know, that's kind of lower end. And then we have Captain Robard, or Sir Robard. I can't remember which one he is, if he's a sir or a captain. Yeah, he's a sir. Okay, so... That's kind of where I'm going to be drawing my inspiration, theme-wise, but let's just jump right into it and start off with weapons. So for weapons, we have, of course, the Captain's Mace, which I believe is a very, very good mid to high level mace, and it uh, really suits the theme I'm going for with this suit. And then the Shield with Talmberg Crest, and of course there are several variants of that with that name, but this one is my favorite variant. It's got the, uh, the personal crest of Divish's household. So, I think it fits really well. And then, of course, a dagger, because nobody should ever leave home without a dagger, and a torch, because this is, after all, even though it's an elite, it is a guard, and all guards need torches. So that's weapons, let's move on to clothing. So for clothing, we're going to start off with the knight spurs, because this is a mounted unit, so he does need spurs. A necklace, because you gotta have some flaunting of wealth. Same thing goes for the signet ring, which I believe all high-ranking men-at-arms and knights should wear. Then we have nobleman's red hose, a red and white hood, the riding boots, and I went with the ones that have a slight red tint to them, the dyed quilted coif, same thing, I went with the red one, and the Saxon dyed yamson, and again, went with red. Now, as you can see, the theme here is very red, and it should make sense given the people I just showed you and what we know about Talmberg itself. The colors are red and white, and so we went primarily with red, threw in a little bit of white here and there, and given that armor is a silver tone, which is, you know, similar on the spectrum to white, uh, some people will disagree with me, but, you know, it, it matches that way. This whole suit will very, very well match the colors of Talmberg. So that's the base layer, the clothing. Let's move on to the second layer. Okay, and so for the second layer, we went with the Long Noble Hauberk, which is basically the best hauberk in the game. It's uh, heavier than the Short Noble Hauberk, but it gives you excellent protection all over the place, including your arms. So, very, very good uh, suit of chainmail. Then the Noble's Mail Coif, again, best in the game, very good protection, looks fantastic. And lastly, the Warhorse Gambeson Chausses. Now, normally I'd go with the uh, Mail Chausses here because they offer better protection, but I just couldn't resist going and sticking with that red theme. So that is the second layer uh, of this suit of armor. Let's move on to the third. Okay, and there we have our third and final layer completing our suit. And it's made up of the Warhorse Brigandine. And now for this one, it came down to between this one and a dyed Melanese Brigandine, which was also red. But I felt this one was unique and looked very cool. It had the silver ridges in it that just look really, really cool. So I figured it would make a good addition to the suit of armor. Then the bassinet with clap visor, a helmet that I see being used very little in the game from other people, I should say, and even NPCs in the game. Like, this helmet isn't used as often as I think it should because I think it's a very cool helmet. And for some reason, whenever I look at it, I always think someone in Talmberg should be wearing that. So now someone is. Then we have the Saxon composite chosses, and we went with the red variant because, you know, Talmberg. Brigandine pauldrons, same thing. We got that sweet red armor. And lastly, the Warhorse gauntlets, another piece of the Warhorse suit of armor that I'm utilizing here. They have that unique red enameling, which no other gauntlets in the game have. Uh, only complaint is the gold inlay. I'd rather have it be silver. Over, it would match the suit better, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, and I think all in all it looks very, very good. As far as stats for this suit of armor go, it has a total value of 7,983.8 groschen, making it very affordable as far as high-end suits of armors go. And now most of that comes from the fact that we have several Warhorse pieces in here, primarily these three, and they all have a value of one. So uh, each one of those would be somewhere between probably 500 and over 1,000 groschen if it was other pieces of uh, armor from the game. So the suit would be more expensive if I hadn't used the Warhorse one, but I just think they look very, very good with this. Uh, it has a total AAR or average armor rating of 87.5, putting it very near the top of all of my guard slash knight suits of armor. If you want to do better than that, you can. It's very easy. You just have to sacrifice appearance. I mean, you can go with full plate, which 
can look very good, but generally speaking, if you want to get all the maximum armor potential, you have to use your Arter Garment and put a Combat Jupon or something on the outside. And that'll get you up above the 100 for the AAR, making you almost invincible. This, however, will make you, I mean, just marginally less invincible than that, and I think it looks better. Lastly, for weight, we have 82 pounds, making it pretty light for a suit of armor like this. Considering how comprehensive this is, that's not very heavy. So that is the Talmberg Elite Guard, but a mounted unit is never complete without his horse. So I even decked out the horse. We got a Talmberg themed comparison on there and even a red chanfron for his head. So, uh, or her head. I don't know if this is a female or male horse, but you know, that way it all matches together. Saddle could be a little bit better, but we have that all themed out. So let's see how the suit works in combat. All right, let's see if our elite captain of the guards can't take care of a couple of measly bandits. Knocked out one. Well, I killed. He'll be dead soon. Whoa! This guy's got some moves. Over here! Whoa! 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 What's happening? Hey! All of you, gather here! Uh, Raise I think the alarm! This guy's probably the greater risk. Raise the alarm! Watch out! Hergut! Wow! That was a cool. That was a cool sound he made. Getting the old jab right in the face. I don't like it when people are behind me. In fact, it's like top in my top five least favorite things. So ever. Did. Does that guy have a bow? That's just not fair. There we go. Took care of that guy. Now we'll take out Mr. Bludgeon. Brave enough to hit me from behind, huh? There we go. And I think that's the whole schlemagel. Alright, let's see how the suit looks. Look at that! Not even a dent or scratch or anything on it. And we took out, what was that, four? Four armed opponents? Now mind you, we took one by surprise. Uh, you know, but whatever. I think it holds up very well. So again, this was a request by Incognito7274. If you want to see more requests like this, go ahead and shout them out down in the comment section below and I'll take a look at them. But otherwise, thanks for watching and have a nice day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.